Hey, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox channel. Today we're building the High Grade Gundam Seed, the Strike Nova Gundam. Same series from the Stargazer as uh, Blue Dew. And personally, I really like this suit. Uh, I think this suit is way better than the original Strike Gundam design. Uh, the black color theme, really my taste, hitting it. Um, and, you know, I'm gonna start unboxing it. So uh, first at the side, we go have a uh, color of uh, unpainted uh, build and we have some actions here and on the side we have some uh, introduction as well so this came out uh, at 2006 as well so um, I'm not expecting there's gonna be good color separation but you know I still go for it alright after we open the box we got a body cap the A runner I believe we got some uh, we got a head, we got uh, some uh, waist, torso part, uh, feet, and we got some uh, beam saber parts here as well. We do, next we have uh, action based stickers and uh, guns and I believe this is the hand, the, the hand joint. Is it, is it the hand joint? I, I'm not really sure. Next we got some line. We got the lines for the uh, rocket launcher. We got the uh, backpack. Uh, we got the gi gigantic um, sword at the back as well we got some feet joint we got some open hands for the wire to shoot out we got some legs part some waist part as well at the bottom we got a instruction book and open it color guide uh, all kind of action weapon introduction uh, open it instruction manual at the back tells you how to open up the backpack and uh, the launchers installation so um you know i'm really excited to build this too so uh i will see you at the review
Welcome back to the review of the Strike Noah Gundam. So this is the finishing of the actual product. Uh, I need to say though, it looks pretty good for a 2006 uh, Gunpla. I mean, um, the color separation is uh, it's very good. It's, it's, it's not. Uh, it's just some part uses uh, stickers, and uh, I would just tell about it. Uh, the shoulder, the waist, and the uh, and the, you know the rail cannon. The rail cannon red part here is uh, is all achieved by stickers, which is a uh, I would say it, it's pretty fine. It's is it's not like those large stickers that are having that weird flip the part, but it's fine. Uh, I think other than that, oh, and also the wings. The wings is uh, the wings here is also uses the uh, the stickers. But anyway, that's not the point. For what I mean is, for a 2006 product, uh, this is actually looking pretty good. And uh, I would I would like to say that Bandai always have a serious problem. Their serious problem is they make the main character's mobile suit, uh, Gunpla, is very good. But on the other hand, the side characters mobile suit were really bad. Just personal opinion, okay? Because uh, last time when I blew the blue dude, they have a lot. It uh, the the gunpla itself have a lot of uh, uh lots of balancing problems, a lot of unfit stickers, large ones, large ones unfit stickers. Those were the ones that I pissed off the most. But this one, <laughs> on the other hand, it actually done a pretty good job on the stickers. It's it's not those large ones. Uh, part most of it is by um part. Separation. Uh, I really like that. I, I really like that um, idea. And but anyway, what I gotta say is, Bandai, make sure you do your gunplus every. Uh, each combo deserve a good result because just because it, it is it a uh, main character's mobile suit. Uh, yeah, main character's mobile suit. You did a good job. But can you actually care about your side mobile suit? Because every time you do some side character's gunpla, uh, it end up pretty bad. Okay, so I'm gonna just start talking it. Um, so the suit itself, other than the four um, uh, no marks, uh, I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's anywhere else you can see the no marks. It's, it's not really actually have that uh, really obvious waterline. Uh, you know the the seam lines. Uh, it wasn't really obvious at all. It's doing a pretty good job. It also give us uh, some panel lighting as well. For for the kit, it looks pretty good actually. So the head, uh, really nice detail. Uh, gonna need to give you credit that you uh, actually bring, uh, give us a four line. Those four lines on the face, you actually, you actually did it on the XG. I am so proud of you, Bandai. So uh, the head move up, down, up, down, no problem at all. Really up, uh, probably twist about ninety degrees. Then uh, there's no more further to go. So you know the head's just uh, limited in that moving area. So uh, the hands uh, is a uh, three sixty twistable. Is, as you can see it's moving uh, 360 twistable and uh, it can go about uh, 180 because you know there's a there's a there's a wing at the back kind of blocking this weight uh, the arm the the hand on it uh, is uh, really movable as well actually uh, it's 360 you just a little bit tough the joint and uh, you know the arms bend about uh, nine a little more than 90 degrees uh, probably a uh, hundred a little fun fact the suit actually is not that bad because actually it can move slightly forward. The arm actually can move slightly forward. It's not really that bad for a 2006 product. Other thing that I need to uh, other thing that I need to say about Bandai is uh, you actually did a good job on the waist. It's not failing off this time. It's completely stable. It's not failing off this time. Good job about that. And also the waist is probably go around about uh, 40 degrees. And other than that, there's no really, not really any actual movement. For the waist, each piece is actually uh, individual. Is an individual, um, individual piece, so it can go uh, individually. Yes. And at the si at the side skirt, uh, move about 30 degrees, and you can store a pistol on it. A pretty nice feature, though, actually. And uh, unfortunately, this. Uh, this, uh, you know, the leg joint is actually a ball and socket joint, so it couldn't really do much like side kick, uh, as far as probably like this. But the front kick actually give us some surprise. It can go pretty high up, actually. So let me move away that. It can actually go pretty high up for the front kick. Uh, bend about 90 degrees for the legs. And the ankle armor is actually movable. And the feet, the feet is slightly movable, probably about 30 degrees. The backpack itself uh, is, slight, is movable, it's pretty movable as well. Uh, yeah, be careful, don't over move too much, it's gonna fall off eventually. And it's pretty hard to plug it back once you uh, over move this, so please be careful about that. And uh, the wings on the top is uh, movable as well. Really good feature though, actually. 
Really good feature, I like it. For the accessories, other than the two pistols that are already mounted on the Gunpla Sidekick, uh, we got a pretty useless action base, and we got uh, two open hand, we got two uh, pistol holding hand. Uh, you can switch around the top with the uh, sword holding hand that I just uh, currently put it on. We got two deep beam blades that put it on at the uh, large sword at the back in the backpack, and we got a uh, launcher with the tip on it. Uh, you can just put it on to the um, Gunpla. There is four spot that you can put it on with the uh, launcher. You can either put it at the center of the open hand or at the feet. There's two spot here that you can put it in. There's two spot one, two, or you or either you can put it in the backpack at this spot. There's a little hole here. You can put it in the line and then uh, you can put it in the launcher. So uh, I thought I would just do you a quick demonstration of what the backpack can do. So I rip off one of the signs and actually uh, show you how to do it. Uh, as you know, there's a rail gun at the back, so uh, I'll show you how to pull it out. So uh, you know you pull it out like that, and you flip it to the front. Simple as that. And then after you finish it, you just flip it back. Done. Easy. Okay, and also, the top wings is, uh, is movable as well, the top wings. The top wings is uh, really movable. I'm sorry about my camera wasn't focusing, I don't know, I don't know what happened there. And also, there's, a, there's the gigantic sword I was talking about. And you can put on the effect part on it. And there you go, have fun with it. So a little conclusion about the model, really good design on a 2006 Gunpla, definitely recommend you to buy it, have fun with it. Uh, if, you're gonna need, if you want me to really be picky, I need to say something though, uh, maybe they could do some uh, color separation on the shoulder as well, because I can see the shoulders are color in whole black, which uh, the inside should be red, you need to repaint it yourself. I can, uh, and then I will say, uh, don't use that, uh, the only large sticker that's been used on the mobile suit is either on the wings or on the, on the waist. So uh, that could be improved as well. Uh, other than that, I'm fine with it, uh, the movement is good, uh, and it, uh, it's not really easy to fall, like other XG, maybe it's because the uh, backpack wasn't too heavy, uh, I like that. Uh, it's not. It's finally considered about the uh, model weight. I really like it uh, because I really hate when I make any, any poses and then the gunpla keep falling all over and over and over again, and it, it and, it, and it actually kind of annoys me when that happened. But anyway, this suit didn't have uh, didn't have that problem very often, so I'm happy about that, and I definitely recommend you to buy it. Uh, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.